our testimony reads as follows. Hail from chest pains. There's a man from Accra, Ghana. He testified about a prayer that the man of God, Pastor Robert, shared on WhatsApp and followed everything as instructed. He had a chest pain. He was struggling to breathe and he was weak. After listening to the prayer, he got free and is now able to work to work freely during the day. He is now able to breathe well after the prayer. Pastor Robert prayed for him again over the phone and the power of God touched him and he couldn't stand anymore. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. Every morning at 6 a.m. from Monday to Friday, we have our morning prayer, which is at 7 a.m. on Saturdays and Sundays. Our midday service starts at 5 to 12, and then we have our evening service, which starts at half past 6 every night. Our midnight prayer starts at 5 to 12 every night, and we also have our weekly prayer and fasting, which is on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, the details of the fasting are shared on our different WhatsApp groups. Amen. Amen. And to those who want to partake in the blessings of the Lord through tithe and offerings, the baking details are shared on our different WhatsApp groups, on our messenger groups, as well as on our different Facebook platforms. Amen. Tonight we will get the word of God from the book of Matthew chapter 3. We will get the word of God from the book of Luke chapter 24 from verse 32 NIV. It reads as follows. They asked each other, we are not our hearts were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us and saying it is true the lord has risen and has appeared to simon then the two told that what had happened on the way and how jesus recognized by them when he broke the bread while they were still talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. Look at my hands and my feet. It is I myself. Touch me and see a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. And while they still did not believe it because of joy and amazement, he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Also tonight, we'll have a privilege to go through the Word of God together. Believing the Word of God to be taught with power, power of the Holy Spirit, power to heal, power to bless, power to protect. And just before we go, I just have a testimony. You know, very late, just before prayer. I got a call. It's one of those... Uh, one of those companies where the agent was calling last week and this uh, owner is going like um i've heard about you i've heard i've seen the cv i really want you for this for this job just tell me any amount of money that you want uh 
don't worry about the car the car will if you don't know you're worried about will give you a car company car don't worry about the place to stay it will provide for you the guest house just come just come and work for us just come very soon i will promote you and all those kind of things and uh and i'm like okay okay just give me a time to think about it because of course i'm not really looking for a job of course and um and all those kind of things but to me it is just a sign and a wonder and god is just showing to somebody if god is busy next door you are next in line hallelujah amen you are next in line then it was just a wonder where this man is just saying do you don't even have to think about anything just come it's another one where there is no even an interview no interview he not even interviewed not if no interview but he said don't worry just tell me what you want very soon you will be close to the md of this company just anyway let's go on with the word of god let's go to the book of luke 24 verse number 32 they ask each other when not our hearts burning with uh, within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us the bible is talking about luke chapter 24 verse number 30 the bible say that when he was at the table with them he took the bread and gave thanks and broke it and began to give it to them their eyes opened were opened and they recognized him and he disappeared from their sight This is Jesus Christ. He find these two men walking in the road. As they were walking, they were talking about what happened few days ago. As they were talking about what happened few days ago, the Bible say that Jesus Christ joined them. He joined them and begin to to also speak with them. trying to show them from the scriptures that it has been prophesied it has been talked about from the prophets of the old testament they've prophesied about his death the kind of death that he have to die the kind of suffering that he have to suffer but when he is talking he is not talking to them as if he is jesus he is talking to them as if he is someone who have just knows the scriptures and he told them everything he told them everything from the old testament then as he was telling them the word of god they are not aware that it is jesus talking to them they are thinking that is somebody who is telling them about what had happened few days ago in accordance to the scriptures then that's what they thought they're walking there enjoying the word of god you know they were just enjoying the word of god they were just the word of god was so wonderful the word of god was so glorious in such a way that the bible say that when they reach at the place where they were supposed to turn turn to their home turn to their destination and the bible say that as they were about to turn 
Jesus Christ acted as if he's going straight. He's not, he was not going with them. And they had to beg him and say, Jesus, they, they did not know that he was Jesus. They were just enjoying the word. They said that, no, you must stay with us. Just don't pass. Because they were enjoying the word of God. The word of God was so glorious. The word of God was so wonderful. They were just enjoying the word. They were just enjoying the revelations. Wow. Enjoying the word. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. They were just enjoying the word. They were just enjoying the word. In such a way, Jesus Christ wanted to turn. They said, don't turn, please. Let's go, go with us. Wow, they were enjoying the word. Now, the Bible says that they entered the place with him now, where they were going. When they arrived there, and the Bible say that when he broke the bread... He broke the bread. And the Bible said that their eyes were open. And they were able to recognize, oh, this is Jesus. And immediately he disappeared. Immediately they dis he disappeared. Amen. Then Bi the Bible said that in verse number 32 of Luke chapter 24. They ask each other, were not our hearts burning with his, within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? Then now they were going back to say that. No, no, there was something. There was something. <laughs> I don't know whether you are hearing something. Amen. There was something about the word that they were receiving in such a way that they were enjoying that word like never before in such a way that they could feel that word from within that's why they are saying that we're not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures hallelujah Amen. They were enjoying that word. You know, remember, Jesus Christ is a word of God, and is the he is he is the word of God, and is what is the best teacher of the word. Remember what happened. The Bible said that one day, at the temple, at the temple there. The Bible says that the, Phari, the, 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 the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, they wanted him to be arrested. As they wanted him to be arrested, they sent the temple guards to go and arrest him. But the Bible says that as they go to arrest Jesus, the Bible says that they found Jesus Christ teaching the word. Those guards, as they arrived there, they were so mesmerized. They were so enjoying the word of God. They could not arrest him. As they could not arrest him, the Bible said that. They went back to those who have sent him, sent them. As they arrived there, the Bible said that they say that nobody talks like Jesus. Nobody talks like that man. And the Bible says that Amen. those, the temple, te those are uh, the teachers of the Lord. They were like, ah, did he convince you too? He, did, did he convince you too? Yes, they were convinced. 
because Jesus Christ was the best teacher of the word. You could just listen to the word of God and you enjoy when the Lord was speaking. Amen. And enjoy. Amen. The Bible talks about one time. It was when the multitude followed Jesus Christ in the wilderness. As they followed Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was teaching the word. And the Bible said that it was days. It was days without them eating. And I'm sure they were not even feeling hungry. It was days. It, just enjoying the word. And no wonder Jesus could say that man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that come from the mouth of God. These people, they left their homes. And they, and they just Amen. stayed in the wilderness until Jesus Christ was the one who thought for them. Uh -uh. It has been days for these people without eating food. Let us get them something to eat. But they were satisfied. They were not even feeling hungry. Because... They were eating the spiritual food. They were eating the spiritual Amen. food in such a way that they forget about the hunger. They forget that they are looking for food. Because Jesus Amen. Christ is a real manna. It's a manna that is manna that came from heaven. That's what the Bible talks Amen. about in Amen. the book of John, John chapter 6. Let us pass through the book of John chapter 6. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Wow. Can we go to the book of John chapter 6 verse number 32 Jesus said to them very truly I tell you it is not Moses who have given you the bread from heaven but it's my father who gives you true bread from heaven for the bread of God is the is bread that come down from heaven and gave it to the world verse number 35 the Bible said that and Jesus declared I'm the bread of life whoever comes to me will never go hungry Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He is the bread of life. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. He's the bread of life. As you are listening to his word, you are feeding in him. Then in such a way that sometimes when you're listening to the word of God, you even forget that you are hungry. Because as you're listening to that word of God, it is feeding you. Hallelujah. Amen. John chapter 6. This is, was when Peter, Jesus said that, don't you want also to go? Asking the, asking the 12. John 6, verse number 67. The Bible says that you do not want to live too, don't you, do you? Jesus asked the 12. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have got the words of eternal life. You have got the words of eternal life. You are the eternal bread. You are the eternal food. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Then this man, as they were listening to Jesus, they were feeding in the eternal bread. They were eating eternal food. They were eating the real manna in such a way that they could feel it. 
touching them. Their were hearts were burning. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 24, verse number 34. The Bible say that. And saying it is true, the Lord has risen and appeared to Simon. When we are still there, let us read verse number 33. They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven. And those assembled with them, and saying, It is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared to Simon. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that Jesus Christ has come back to life. Jesus Christ has risen. And this is something that all of us who are believers, all of us who are the children of the living God, you must know. You must know it. You must believe it that Jesus Christ did not only die, he came back to life. He is alive he's alive then let me tell you this you don't need to in order for you to believe you have to believe the word of God you don't need to be there in order for you to believe that he, he has risen remember what you have talked about some other time that the reason why the twelve were there, the reason why both Peter were there, the reason why the disciples were there, they were there to represent us. They were there to represent you. They were there to represent us. That even though you could not be there, they were there to confirm what the, the word of God talks about. For example, you are hearing that Jesus Christ died. After he died, he came back to life. And these men were there to confirm. They were Amen. there to confirm. You know, like, for example, you heard about these two men who were walking, walking, talking about what has happened. And they were told that he appeared, but did not believe. It doesn't mean that when they were told that he raised up, rose up from the dead, they, believe, they did not believe. You heard it. But he appeared to them and they believed. The same thing Peter and others were told by the, by the woman that oh, he, the tomb is empty. They did not just say yes. They went there and confirmed the tomb was empty. And also he appeared to them. And the, lastly you hear about this man. This man by the name of Thomas. The Bible says that Thomas also, even though others could testify that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and is alive. The Bible said that Thomas did not believe. He was like, no, it can't be. What are you talking about? Are you saying that Jesus Christ came back to life? He's alive. He did not believe. And Thomas said that for me to believe that Jesus Christ is alive, I will have to put my fingers on the where they nailed, where they have nailed him. I will have to put my fingers even on the side. I will have to put my fingers in order to believe that he's alive. And the Bible said that one day, after when he he have risen, rose again when he was visiting them. The Bible says that. Indeed, when Jesus Christ arrived there, because he knew what Thomas had said, even though Thomas had said it when he was not there, he said, Thomas, put your finger in my, in my hands. He put his fingers. Put your fingers even on my side. He put his fingers. And the Bible said that Thomas said that, my Lord, my God, Thomas believed after when he touched Jesus. 
that indeed it is Jesus, indeed he rose up from the dead. Then all these things were happening as a confirmation. All these things were happening as a confirmation that indeed Jesus Christ came back to life. Jesus Christ is alive. It is not just a story. There were a lot of witnesses. And these witnesses were not with, they were witnesses not for themselves. They were witnesses for us. So that today, when you believe that Jesus Christ came back to life, you are not just believing, you are believing things that have been confirmed that he came back to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Then the Bible says that in the book of Luke 24, verse number 35, then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Okay. I want you to get this. Okay. Now they are, they are just saying that Peter have seen Jesus. Mary Magdalene have seen Jesus. And now another ones were coming to confirm that no, oh, also us. We were walking. As we were walking, he came and joined us. We thought he was another man. But when he broke the bread, we realized that this Jesus is Jesus. And Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It was just becoming a common knowledge. And it was not yet done. Okay. Let us go on. Like Luke chapter 24 verse number 36. While they were still speaking, talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said that peace be with you. Jesus himself as the every... Others will say, Yo, yes, we see him. Other one, yes, I see him. Other one, yes, he was with us. The Bible said that he himself he appeared. He appeared and the Bible said that they were startled and frightened. Thinking that they saw the ghost. You know, they were scared. You know, even though the Lord, they loved the Lord. But when they saw the Lord, they were, the Bible said they were afraid. And the reason why they are afraid Imagine somebody whom they know that he was buried. <laughs> I have seen some some videos. I think these are videos of a story. When somebody woke up from the gray from the from the coffin, even though this person woke up from the coffin, when they were going to bury him, everyone who was there was so scared and begin to run away. Thinking that they have seen the, the ghost. Also, this one, they were afraid. Thinking that they have seen the ghost. And the Bible say that. This is Jesus Christ speaking now. Look at my hands and my feet. It is my eye myself. Touch me and see. The ghost does not have flesh and bones. As you see, I have. Jesus Christ speaking that you touch me. I want you to I want you to I want you to get this, you know, the difference between the ghost and Jesus. The ghost does not have flesh and blood. The ghost is a spirit. I want you to get this. If you hear somebody somebody talking about the ghost, even though there is no proof about the existence of ghosts in our days. Otherwise, they were going to be talking about ghosts in the recent years, captured. I'm sure if there was ghosts, we're going to see it even in your, in your cell phones nowadays, the way that technologies have gone. But a ghost is a spirit. But a ghost does not have flesh and blood. Jesus, when he rose from the dead, he had flesh and bones 
I wanted to get it. He was not a ghost. Then he was trying to prove that he's not a ghost. He is supernatural. Yeah. He's glorious. He is appearing in their midst. But he is not the ghost. Say that no, the ghost does not have. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. And the Bible say that Jesus said that. And while they did not believe it, because of joy and amazement, he asked them, "Do you have anything to eat?" I want to show you. Jesus said, "I want to show you something. I want to prove to you that I'm not the ghost." Do you have anything to eat? As it goes down, the Bible says that there was a fish there. And he eat the boiled fish. To show that he's not the, he's not the ghost. He's not the spirit. He just came back to life and he's alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is alive. Hallelujah. He is not a ghost. You must believe it that the Lord is what? He is alive. He defeated death for your sake. Believe it is a cornerstone of Christianity that Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is not a ghost. He is indeed alive. Hallelujah. Anyway, because of time, continue to pray wherever you are. Mandala bajando robo siandaraba. Mataraba. Mandala bajando robo. Mataraba sonde robo. Mandala basundu rubu shandaraba Mantaka basundu rubu shandaraba Mantara basundu rubu Mantaka basandaraba shandaraba Mantere basundu rubu Mandala basandu rubu shandaraba Mantara kashiye tere bayato, mandara bajando lobo ziandaraba. Jesus is alive. He's alive. He's alive forever. Oh, robo sondo robo. Mandala basondo robo shanda raba baba. Ere bayando loko robo shanda raba. Mandala basando robo shanda raba yando robo. Ere keshende robo sondo robo. Mandala bajando robo siandaraba Mandara bajando robo siandaraba Esala Esala May you see the sign in your life is alive Esala Mandarabajandorobosyandarabam Mandarabajandorobo Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost
I command everything I to turn around for my goal. Everything to turn around for my goal. Let there be miracle jobs. Let there be miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Miracle jobs. Let there be progress. Let there be progress. 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 In every sector of my life. Every sector of my life. Anything which is not of God. In my life, in my life, in my family, in my career, in my anything, catch fire now, catch fire now, catch fire now. I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Savior. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sin. Bless me today. Bless me Protect me from today. Protect me from today. With your power. With your power. Of the Holy Spirit. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord give you a sign that is alive. Amen. May the Lord give you the sign that is alive in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.